They're gonna think I'm not a real southerner. So we got two males so far. My name is Tony Thomas, and you're watching Hardwired Exotics on YouTube. We're about to turn it on. Check these things out. He shit out yesterday. Not sure what they are, but they're cool looking. So I know what these two are. These two are leopard, bongo, uh, black pastel, Mojaves. Yeah. Hey, I got a special delivery. Sweet. What are you doing? You playing with stuff without me? Yes. You yeah. filming without me again? No, I'm not. I promise. You promise? Look at these. Oh. Oh, wow. I like that one. Yeah. That's special? Yeah, special something. Special something? <laughs> no, I don't IDK? Yeah. IDC? I, I separated these out yesterday. I think this is a pastel bongo. Black Pastel Mojave Pen. Oh, I like that one too. Yeah, these two are my favorites. They're bongo leopard combos. And both of those are girls. Does that mean they can play the drums? I don't know, does it? They might. They ain't got the hands. How do they play the, with her tail? That would be funny. Yeah. We, should get, we should get a shirt made with bongo balls. Bongo balls? With snake with a, with tail. Curled up around it and then tail just bang, bang, bang. I'm on it. That's a business name right there. Zach made me that shirt. Thanks. Appreciate it. <laughs> He'll do it too. Alright, right, so I got a package in. Yeah, buddy. The thing is, is I don't remember ordering a package. So you didn't. Okay. And apparently the lady at FedEx thinks that um, I'm you and you're me. Hmm. So hi, everybody. My name's Craig. And that's Tommy. <laughs> what we got? Uh, we got something from Chasing Balls. Yep. Open her up. That's new. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, put it on. Yeah, so, uh, I've been waiting to get this girl for a minute. So, funny story while I'm opening this box, because y'all probably bored watching me. Mm -hmm. uh, Brittany hatched some blackhead pod stuff. And, well, Brittany and Rob hatched them. Mm -hmm. I don't know exactly who actually pulled them out of the incubator, but <laughs> one of the two of One of the two. It, oh. It said, uh, Oh, you open that. Thank you, sir. Appreciate so, it. Southern so the way, y'all don't know about that, that's a southern thing. Yep. Anyway, uh, so Brittany's like, hey, check these out. I was like, oh, man, those are dope. So she sent me some pictures, you mm -hmm. know, blah, 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 whatever. And then she was like, what do you what do you think I should price these at? So I, I told her what prices were and or what I thought they should be at. She was like, okay, cool. Well, we happened to be driving home from Justin's, actually, and you just watched the episode and you seen Some, somewhere yeah somewhere back there back in your history so uh, you know how much money I just spent you know at Justin's That's house right. and uh, I looked over to Cassie I, was, I think we were eating lunch I was like I want to buy this snake so I had Brittany up and I was like how much you want for this snake she just said well you know you told me it was worth this and this and I was like dang it that, sh that should have told you it was worth <laughs> less so anyway uh, I sent her the money so uh, yeah just shed uh, I hadn't, hadn't even started eating yet, but I just went ahead and sent her the money for it. Right. And I guess that was two, no, that was more than two weeks ago, three weeks, almost four weeks ago, probably. So, anyway, pretty says she's eating good and shipped her out. Anyway, she's hey, here. She's here. Check it out. So, this is what I picked up. 
pull together. Oh, uh, Chasing Balls, thank you for your business. Yep. Oh, and if you don't know who Chasing Balls is and Brittany and Rob, uh, go check them out. Yeah, so, cool folks. It's also, you've seen them on our YouTube a couple of months Back ago there somewhere. somewhere. Uh, yep, in the history. Yeah, that's where Cassie got her bangle Oh, that's cap. right, where she got her bangle cap from. Yep. It's hard for me to say that because I'm Southern and I want to say bingle cap. Yep. Yeah, it really is bingle. Is it? Is it bingle? A bingle. bangle you wear on your wrist. It's a bingle is, What's a is the cap. On your wrist? A bangle is uh, that, that uh, music group from the 80s that was the, <laughs> was the first vi music video to play on MTV. The bangles. Oh, we got stickers? Yep. Sticker. Cool. Cool. I already have 50 of these, but uh, what's one more? What's one more? Let's see how they packed it. Oh, you screwed this up. I'm just kidding. Oh, man. Look at that. Oh, dude. Look at there. Ain't slacking on the bag. Not slacking on the bag. Just throw that, just throw that over there. Now we'll do that. Get rid of it. Oh, oh, they tied it good, too. Oh, yeah. Let me show you the bag. Chasing balls. I've seen a lot of people doing these, and they're really nice. But, uh, <clears throat> so I'm going to go ahead and coin this right now. Let's just go ahead and make bags like this. Right? And we're just gonna label them ball sacks. Ball sacks. <laughs> Bro. No? Yeah, I like it. I like it. If y'all like it, let me a thumbs up. If you don't like it. I was it, just fixing to say. Like Craig, don't ever make a joke like that again. Yeah. So, because I like to reuse bags mm -hmm. um, that are clean, I mean, you know, I wanna put a snake in it to, to do something. Or, yeah. or uh, you know, a good friend of mine comes over here or something. I'll just throw it in a used bag. That's right. A used ball sack? If the customer actually pays me for an animal, you get a new bag. You get a new bag. But there are occasions where I reuse bags. And if you say you don't reuse bags, then you're freaking lying. Liars. So. Uh, I just use pillowcases. Yeah. But anyway, I thought about doing these yeah. for my business, but it's like, man, people reuse bags all the time. So. Let's just put them in Crown Royal bags. Well, that I got plenty of those. Actually, I got one of my of ideas was like, dude, I should do something like the Crown Royal bags. Yeah. And just put a you know moonshine or something. Yeah. You know, it's on, nice on the back instead of nice velvet. Yeah, instead of uh, instead of my logo, uh -huh. just do uh, something completely random. But ball sack, ball sack, be, ball sack would be like hilarious. So. Let's see what we got. Anyway. Oh, I didn't realize yep. that that was in in my house all day with me. Yep. Yep. So this is a blackhead mystic pod female. And because it had my name on it, it means it's my snake. You think so? Let's see. We're going to try it right now. Snake, if you want to go home with me, come over here. Come on. Come over here, Snake, if you want to come home with me. Yeah. If not, just sit there and do nothing. Oh, oh, oh. You coming home with me? Anyway, this is her. Uh, obviously, a little feisty. So, but feisty is good. Feisty is good. Feisty is very good. Feisty means they're, they like to eat. Yeah. We shipped out some snakes, and uh, a buddy Juan got some snakes in. Yeah. And, uh, Which one? Uh, Juan Gordon. Oh. Uh, here in Georgia, and he's like, "Dude, I love these snakes. They already bit me." <laughs> well, that's how you know they're good. <laughs> yep. I mean, that's they're alert and hungry. Yeah. You yeah. so, know. Actually, they're just being defensive, but uh, yeah. it's a good sign. So, drive on me, drive on me. It's too late now. I told you you'd come on me a second ago, but now, nope, mm -mm. you made your mind up. Yeah. Anyway, appreciate it, Brittany, Rob. Uh, beautiful uh, female here, mm -hmm. and uh, she'll definitely be added to some project, even though I don't even know why. I just wanted it. And because, look, because it's, it's a pod, it's a blackhead. It's a mystic. Yeah, yeah. Hey, look, it's happy to see you. It's wagging his tail. <laughs> she is yeah. not liking you. Yeah. All right, so we're going to get her cleaned up uh, and get her in a tub. Right. To obviously relax because she looks very stressed. She probably didn't like my music I was playing. Maybe she needs a drink, too. Maybe she does. Maybe she needed a Crown Royal bag. Maybe she needs a Crown Royal bag. Maybe we should then make they can it. use it for a pillow and sleep on it. Just, oh, they can instead of just rolling up and wrapping their, their, their head on their body. You know? I mean, you are your own pillow when you're asleep. Yes, sir. It's yeah. not good. Anyway, let's, uh, let's check out something that just hatched today, and Craig's going to be a major part of that. Craig, what are you doing? 
getting something to drink before he starts. Don't film me drinking peach tea. They're going to think I'm not a real southerner. Yeah. I know how to make sweet tea. I just need something, and I quit drinking soda. So sorry, guys. I'm I'm still a southerner. Anyway, anyway, what so got? your hypo girls clutch uh, hatch. Well, at three of the four did anyway. Oh yeah. Yeah. There's a normal still an egg. Oh, okay. Well, she, she's probably just doing normal things. Maybe she's got bad head and didn't want to be filmed. Chilling. Maybe she's a she too. Hopefully. Hope so. So we got most of these are males. <laughs> really? So so. Are females worth more than males? It completely depends. Okay. So, just in reference, I don't want to get into a long debate on this, but, but just quick. Like on the confusion clutch that we just hatched. Okay. Uh, the confusion males sometimes bring more money uh, than the females. Okay. Because the confusions are going, to, the males are going to get up size and breed quicker. Got so it. Completely depends um, on, on what you need it for. Right. So if somebody made like a, I don't know, we made. Pastel vanilla leopard double head female. Right. I would say a pastel vanilla leopard double head male would be just a little bit cheaper than that being a female. Right. Because that male is going to breed quicker. Right. But if somebody made a leopard cypress cryptic double head hypo desert ghost male, mm -hmm. that animal is going to be way more powerful than a female. Okay. That makes sense now. So, <clears throat> so more genes, faster time to, to be able to breed again. Well, it's like I tell everybody all the time. Don't forget your males. Everybody wants female, 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 female. And always make sure you have a backup male. Yeah, Remember, definitely. Yeah, we talked about that. Yeah. <laughs> so, anyway, anyway, glad I got some. All right, well, let's, get, let's get back, back on these. these. So, all right. this pairing was your hypo female. That was just plain hypo. High, plain hypo. Yeah. And uh, I bred her to pastel, pinstripe, leopard, desert ghost. So your two favorite genes, <laughs> and one of my favorite genes. Yep. Okay. Cool. I'm not a big pastel, even though I do like pastel and hypo and desert ghost. Uh, and pen is starting to grow on me. I like pen stripes. Pen is definitely start growing on me. I do. So. I'm still working on getting getting myself what a cheetah. That's uh, what I'm again, hypo and desert ghost stuff looks good with pen stripe. So. Okay. Anyway, we're gonna find. So what we got? So the first one. That is a pinstripe. This is just a pinstripe. That's exactly right. These are fresh out of the egg too. Yeah, silky still, smooth. Still sticky. Silky. So, just a regular pinstripe. This one is a male, I believe. Okay. Uh, I need to double check, but I think it's I mean, a male. How could you not like that? That's cool looking. It is. Look at the back of the. Yeah. Back of the head. Pretty crazy. All right, so. That one is, I'm gonna guess them. All right. I'm gonna be a YouTube noob and I'm gonna try to guess it. So, that's a lemon blast. That is a lemon blast. That's just a plain lemon blast. Yep, pastel pinstrap. Okay. So, also a male. Okay. So we got two males so far. So, what is this one? It's a lemon blast. And this leopard, yep. yeah, yeah, this leopard, dude. If you can't tell, right leopard. <laughs> I got one eye, leave me alone, man. <laughs> yep, so this is pastel pinstripe leopard, okay. Uh, again, all them double hit. And guess what? What's that? That was a girl. Oh, cool. So that one's that one's pretty good, right there. Yep, okay. That one's going to your house. She's going to my house, so I can keep it for three years and, and f figure out what she is. No, we know what she is. I know, I know. What I mean. But uh, see, oh, she likes me. She likes me. She's coming to my house. Let's get over here. Come on, come on, come on over here. Come on. You're mine now. We're going to my house. So even though you didn't get my blackhead mystic pie girl, well, I got this girl. You're getting this one. So. That's pretty cool. So this would be the second female off of the second clutch that I helped produce. Yep. So I got two females so far for the 2020 season come to my house. Yeah. That's pretty cool. This uh, snake breeding thing's pretty stinking fun. Yep. I like it. Now I got a name. This is how you up your collections. Yeah. You, you make the stuff that you want to keep. So. You, you got some slime on. Oh, that's your belly button. Yeah, these, these yeah. literally. Fresh out of the egg. Literally just crawled out. Yeah, some of the, they, yeah, still got, still got baby slime. It's okay, you got baby slime. 
Look at this one though. Look at his male. Look at his black spot on his tail. But see, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I I don't understand. I I think pinstripes are cool looking. Yeah, I have noticed lately that there's a lot of paradoxing in in the pinstripe. But that's now, just wicked. Now one of my I've first seen that before. Now one of my first big snakes I got from you is a lemon blast. Yep. And I like her. She's cool. She's my buddy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She didn't breed for me this year. I still love her though. Yeah. You know? Okay. It happens. She eats every 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 week, so she's happy. Make sure breed next year. That just means bigger clutches next year. That means maybe, fingers crossed, I'll get me a cheetah next year. Heck yeah. So that's one more. If you don't know what cheetah is, go look it up. Yeah, go look it up if you don't know what it is. <laughs> and it ain't talking about this cat. Yep, and it ain't a pinstripe leopard <laughs> like we got right there. Because it ain't that. So. Alright, I'm going uh, to put these up and uh, I guess that's a wrap for today. Yeah, because it's getting warm in here and... Um, Yep. Yep. So, cool. See y'all next time. Thanks for watching Hardwired Exotics and make sure you subscribe. Bye! <laughs>